Hey guys, doing a different kind of video, just kind of off the cuff, because I just came back from a business trip, just a boy in his dreams trying to grow as an accountant, but I had time to go to a half price books and I got some really cool stuff. I was I was not expecting what I got and I just I just went with the backpack and I was like Oh my gosh, how am I going to how am I going to be able to like bring all this stuff on the plane? I had like no room in my backpack. So, of course, I have this like giant bag that I had to lug around the streets of Dallas and at the airport and stuff, but it was so worth it. So, what I was able to find when I got there was like not even in the comic book section, but just kind of floating around in a cart, I found the trade volumes one through four of Deathstroke the Terminator by Marv Wolfman. And they're in pristine condition and priced very well, I might add. This was the most expensive one, $12.49, but trade paperback volume two, $7.49, and the first one was only $9.99. But they're like in perfect condition, like absolutely perfect. One through four, you never see that at a store. Volume one is always taken, that's a given. You're lucky if you get a volume two. Usually you'll get like threes, fours, and sevens. One through four. All, I was, all I'm missing is number five now. Yeah, but these are like, these are in such good condition. I'm just so excited about them. Just beautiful books all around. Like, look at that excellent action, man. Oh my gosh. So much goodness in here. Just like classic Steve Irwin pencils. So cool. I was so excited. The artwork on the back too. I was so excited to have these. I found uh, volume five on eBay for a good price, so um, you know I'm I'm ordering that already. But I also got some other cool stuff. Like I love I love just regular you know novels, like any genre really. And I found this one called Kill the Farm Boy, also in really good condition. And it's kind of like a parody on like fantasy novels. There's a it's a trilogy, so I'm gonna. I'm going to be t checking this out. Hopefully it's good. It sounds really good. I always like read the first couple pages or I just find random paragraphs. And if they look, if it looks like it's something that I'll be interested in, I'll, I'll buy it. And then I love aliens. I'm always doodling like little alien heads. And even just today earlier, you know, when I was at my work thing, I was drawing aliens and stuff. And I found this uh, Little Green Men by Christopher Buckley, which is like a political satire, but it looks... It looks really funny. It looks really cool. Um, I can't wait to read this one too. So that's another good little find. They had like a collection of these like really cool of uh, famous literature. And this was um, a portrait of a lady by Henry James. This, this, I believe this was printed in like 1978 or something like that. And it has like these gilded edges in beautiful condition too. It's got like this really nice interior or like end pages. Only $15, man. It has really cool illustrations in there. The layout is beautiful. And it has artwork all throughout. And it's, um, Artwork that that really uh, that really goes with the times. I think this was published in the eighteen like the late eighteen hundreds initially. So just kind of a taste of what the pages look like. I, I'm a sucker for this type of stuff, and it was only fifteen bucks. Check it out. Isn't that nice? Yeah, this book is huge too. Look, it's like covering my whole face. So really excited about this too. Um, they had like, there, there were so many. I wish I could have brought more. I had to be like, I had to like make a decision on what I wanted to leave and stuff that I didn't even like allow myself to look at because this stuff is, 
I love this. This stuff is this stuff is like I just love this stuff. I love these books. So I have a really nice. Well, I I think it's really nice. I have a nice library down in the main house. So these books and the novels are gonna go there. My new collection of the Deathstroke Terminator uh, trade paperbacks are gonna be here behind me. I have my comics in the lower rungs of, or the lower shelves of my bookcases here, which I'll showcase later in another video. So there was five volumes that were printed for these Marv Wolfman um, Deathstroke books. And that doesn't collect the whole series. So I think the last one that they printed, number five, was printed in 2019. And I don't know if COVID had something to do with them stopping, but it, they haven't printed any more. Uh, I hope they print the whole collection. So there will probably be like at least four more after that. Um, we'll see. But anyways, uh, just thanks for watching. I'm, I'm just, I'm just so excited. I, I love getting this stuff. And please like and subscribe if you get excited for stuff like this too. Um, I, I can't wait to make more, more videos and and show my enthusiasm because that's what I feel when I watch other people's videos. So I hope more people can do more because I just love watching this stuff. Anyways, thanks guys. Bye.